You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. We have breaking news in the college football world. Alabama did not take long. Uh, 72 hours was their stated uh, timeline to find Nick Saban's replacement. And here we are on Friday at 3 o'clock Central, and it is official. Alabama is hiring Kalen DeBoer from Washington to replace Nick Saban as the head coach of Alabama. Pete Thamel on SportsCenter today. Kalen DeBoer has indicated to officials at the University of Washington that he's likely to take the job at Alabama. It is not a done deal. It is not official. He has not resigned. But as Mark and Chris and a bunch of us at ESPN have reported this today, this deal is in deep negotiations, and it would be a stark reversal at this point if Kalen DeBoer does not end up as Alabama's next head coach. The sides have been in discussions throughout today. Washington, I've been told by sources, made a concerted effort to try to keep DeBoer. They put together a package for seven years that would have made him one of the 10 highest paid coaches in all of college football. But as of now, Kalen DeBoer to Alabama is just basically requiring signatures. That was Pete Thamel uh, reported everywhere now that Kalen DeBoer is taking the Alabama job. You heard Pete Thamel say there that Washington offered him a seven-year deal that would have made him among the top 10 highest paid coaches in America. Uh, DeBoer just signed an extension in November. I mean, a little more than a month ago, he signed an extension that would have kept him in Seattle through 2028. I'll come back to that in a second. But DeBoer at 49 years old uh, replaces Nick Saban, who won seven uh, in 17 seasons, won six national championships at Alabama. Um, a, uh, an unprecedented run for Nick Saban. Uh, and Alabama did not uh, waste time finding his replacement. So Kalen DeBoer, DeBoer is leaving Seattle uh, to head to Tuscaloosa. I have plenty to say on this and plenty of thoughts on the Kalen DeBoer hire. Uh, Pete Thamel was asked about a, a reaction and whether or not DeBoer was a fit at Alabama. Well, winners fit everywhere. Kalen DeBoer won at NAIA. He won at uh, FCS. He won as a coordinator at Eastern Michigan. He won as a coordinator at Indiana. He went big as a head coach at Fresno. He has three NAI national titles. He can flat out coach football. There is sort of a cultural gap that he will have to bridge. He's never been in that footprint of the country. Kalen DeBoer has not recruited at that high, high, high end level. Does Alabama have the resources, infrastructure, collective in place to support him? Because look, he's not Nick Saban. There was, what, 44 first-round picks that went to Alabama. Nick Saban and Alabama sold itself because of its success. It's a different sell now with Kalen DeBoer. So there's going to be plenty of reaction. We'll have it for you throughout the day. A couple of things um, first and foremost. Uh, Jimmy Sexton got all his guys paid. <laughs> uh, one by one, you saw coaches... Um, withdraw from consideration or announce they were staying uh when you when one agent moves all the pieces on the chessboard um like Jimmy Sexton does he's very savvy and he works to get all his guys raises so you look at Steve Sarkeesian and Dan Lanning and Mike Norvell all uh announcing they're staying at their school I don't know that they were any of them necessarily were rebuffing Alabama or it, was once Alabama made the decision they were going forward with Kalen DeBoer, it allowed everyone else the opportunity to save face and make their bold proclamation that they're staying and ultimately get more money at the place where they are. Um, I, I do want to talk real briefly on the DeBoer extension that he signed in November because I just want to illustrate a point that I make sometimes here, which is that's why players should be able to leave whenever they want. Kalen DeBoer less than two months ago, signed an extension to stay in Seattle. And less than two months later now, he's leaving. There's no loyalty among coaches, so anybody that screams to me about loyalty and the people recruited you and this and that, baloney. That's got to be a two-way street. Coaches can leave whenever. Players should be able to leave whenever. As far as the Bama search, I had one conversation. I, like, I'm not sitting here telling you I know the inner workings of the University of Alabama. I don't. I had one conversation with someone that I would, that I would describe as having um, close knowledge of, of the situation. 
And that's not to say this is somebody that was <laughs> making the decision or in that process, but is familiar with, with the process at Bama. And it was when Lanning's name, Dan Lanning's name first came up and the word got out that it was a $20 million buyout for Dan Lanning. And I asked the question, like, you're really going to pay a, is Alabama really going to pay a $20 million buyout to Dan Lanning? And then have to pay a new coach, right? And the reaction I got was, they can't afford not to pay that because of what football, that football program has come to mean, not only to the athletic department, but to the university, the city of Tuscaloosa, that whole ecosystem. I mean, if you go to Alabama's campus, take a snapshot of what it was 17 years ago, the day Nick Saban arrived and what it is now, it's incredible. And it's because of the success that football had. Football has been the doorstep to that university. Enrollment's over 38,000 now. Their endowment's over $1.09 billion now. Donor relations, people give. Go look at, look at the buildings on campus they've built in these last 15 years, just in the last 10 years, last five years. It's amazing. So that university system as a whole is going, can't, can't afford not to pay a great coach. If it's a $20 million buyout, you got to pay it. Well, DeBoer's buyout was $12 million. So they're going to pay... The University of Washington, $12 million for DeBoer to be, able, to be able to leave, and then they're going to pay him whatever his new contract will be. Um, when I look at DeBoer, you know, I, I said this earlier in the week. The reason I lost my voice is all the celebration this week with uh, Nick Saban's retirement. But what I said this week, I, I, and I'm – I'll say to it, whoever you hire, and now it appears it's Kalen DeBoer. Um, whoever you hire, it's not going to be Nick Saban. Like Kalen DeBoer is not going to win six national championships at the University of Alabama. He's not. He may win a national championship. He may win national championships. He will not win six national championships. He will not go 17 years and lose just 18 league games. He's not Nick Saban. He's not going to be. He's not going to have that level of success. So there will be a regression from what they were under Nick to what they will be under Kalen DeBoer. It's not to say they're going to bottom out and be a 500 team. I'm not saying that at all. They have the resources and the infrastructure, and they'll, they, they will commit resources to staff and recruiting and NIL and everything they need to be successful. Um but you're just not going to be Nick Saban. Um, and no matter how successful programs are under a certain coach, how, how much stability they have built, not, nothing is fail-proof. Every empire has fallen. Look at what Florida was when Steve Spurrier left, and they missed with Ron Zook, and they missed with Will Muschamp, I and mean, they missed with coaches. They hit with Urban Meyer, but after Urban Meyer left, they missed subsequently. So it's it's just to say that nothing is a given here with Kalen DeBoer, but I do think DeBoer is a great hire. I think this is probably the best hire they could have made. There are only two names, literally two, that would have, as an LSU fan, that would have really, really like worried me. Like, oh crap, it's not over. And that would have been if they had brought Urban Meyer out of retirement. Or if they had gotten Jim Harbaugh from Michigan. And I and two years ago, I wouldn't have said that about Harbaugh. But he has proven now. Three straight college football playoffs. Just won the national championship. He has proven. He has turned around that program, which it took a, qu a quarter century for them to get back to the apex. But he's done it. Those are the only two. Those are the only two coaches that I would have been like, oh, crap. Like this, this reign of terror is not over. But DeBoer, I look at very similarly to the path Urban Meyer took to Florida and to Ohio State. We know Meyer as a national championship winner at Ohio State before that at Florida. But remember, Urban Meyer had an undefeated team at Bowling Green and then went from there to Utah when Utah was still in the Mountain West and had an undefeated team at Utah 
that got to the Sugar Bowl and then went to Florida and won national championships. I look at Kalen DeBoer and I see a guy that won three national championships at the NAIA level, bounced around as a coordinator at Southern Illinois and Eastern Michigan and Fresno State and Indiana, and then got his head coaching opportunity at Fresno at the G5 level and had two really successful seasons, and then got the head coaching job at Washington and just played for a national championship and now is taking the monumental step up, step up to the rarefied air. I think it's it maps very similarly to what Urban Meyer did in his path to Florida. So I'm not telling you Kalen DeBoer's Urban Meyer is going to have that type of run, but I think he's a great coach. He's a proven winner. He's won at every level. I think he's a hell of a hire by Alabama. But even with that, he still ain't Nick Saban. So Kalen DeBoer, there will be plenty of reaction here on this show and uh, throughout the college football world with the news. Uh, Kalen DeBoer, uh, just after playing on in, in Monday's national championship game with the University of Washington, is leaving Seattle to become the head coach at Alabama, replacing Nick Saban. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.